Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, earth. What messages do you have for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio. Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Okay, we got number 35, Pathway. Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Thoughts, number 16. So someone's thinking of a, a choice here, a path that they wanna choose, something like that. Um, maybe a different cycle or a different life, you know, a different future. Let's see. Tell me more first, Scorpio, please. Who or what is coming towards them in love for Scorpio? Who or what is coming towards them? Okay, in the recent past, we have the world. In your energy, we have, wow, death reverse that's Scorpio energy right there death reverse and the queen of wands reverse the present energy we have the three of wands and the king of cups in their energy we have the ten of swords okay and the four of wands interesting and then in the near future the chariot reverse cancer energy bottom of the deck I have the higher font Taurus energy, commitments, tradition, knowledge, something official. Interesting. I feel like there's something here with endings because I have the Ten of Swords on your person side. I have death reversed and then the world. So there's definitely something here to do with cycles. There's something that someone's waiting for here in the present energy. Then I have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So this could be you waiting for something. This could be, you know, waiting with expectation from a particular person, waiting for a message back. We'll see when we clarify, but let's start with the world. What's the world about? Why is the world here? Ten of Wands, exactly. There's something here that's being kind of like let go of, I feel. In order to have a new beginning or start a new cycle. Tell me more about the world. Page of Cups reversed. Disappointment. This could be emotional burden being dropped. Something heartbreaking, difficult. Maybe this is a difficult ending for someone because I do have the Ten of Swords here as well. Yeah, one more for the world. Six of Pentacles reversed. So something wasn't balanced, something wasn't fair. And I feel like someone's making some sort of exchange here. Yeah, look, there's the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely all about a new beginning here. Someone's making some sort of, they're wrapping up a cycle of some sort. This could be you, this could be your person. So let's jump to the present here. What's this Three of Wands about? Why is the Three of Wands here? Queen of Cups reverse. So we have the King and Queen here, but one, one of you is not doing so well emotionally or has been hurt here. Tell me more about the Three of Wands. There's also a Queen of Wands here, so there could be more than two people here. Tell me about the Three of Wands. This could also be the same energy. 
six of wands reverse so something hasn't been successful could be delayed success mm, four of cups reverse so the fact that something hasn't been successful could have caused someone to have a change of heart here and then we have the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck so i feel like this is connected to the recent past here someone could have been waiting for something that never came or has taken too long to arrive there's disappointment in the midst of this someone's not happy with the way things are and i feel like it's caused them to desire something different this could be you or your person once again tell me about the king of cups about the king of cups the lovers reverse gemini energy tell me about the king of cups four of swords so someone's healing this this king of cups is healing recovering reflecting on a separation of some sort or on a bad choice that they've made let me see Tell me more about this lover's reverse. Tell me more about the lover's reverse. Why is the lover's reverse here? King of Wands. Interesting. And then I have the Strength card at the bottom of the deck. Leo energy. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So I have both two couples here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. And you're not on the same page because one of you in this in the pair is reversed and the other one's upright queen is reversed king is upright both times this person if this is if this is your person the king of cups king of wands energy um i feel like they want to take some sort of action regarding what they're thinking about here they want something. What does this King of Wands want? Tell me about this King of Wands. This could be the person that's thinking here with the thoughts. Tell me about the King of Wands. Knight of Swords reverse. Can I get one more? Hmm. Knight of Wands reverse. Yeah, they screwed up this person. <sighs> Either they were deceptive. They're thinking about the actions they took that led to this separation, that led to the, the disappointment here. I feel like it's connected. And it makes sense they have the Ten of Swords on their end. Why there's a Six of Pentacles reverse, why there's a Six of Wands reverse. Something here was was kind of due to someone's actions. There was a, a big mess up here. And I'm picking up, yeah, five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone has been like struggling out in the cold. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. There's a thunderstorm. Um, so um, I apologize if anybody's like sensitive to noise. Okay, so. So I feel like there's been a waiting period because maybe there hasn't been communication or action that has been taken. Because I feel like someone's been waiting for that specifically. We'll see. Let's look at your energies. Spirit, tell me about Scorpio and this other person that they're dealing with. Tell me about both of their energies, please. Now, Scorpio, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio's energy this time. Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. Okay, and then I want this one too. Patiently waiting, see? 
you're you might be the one that's been waiting for clarity here for truth for answers tell me about the person that scorpio is dealing with tell me about scorpio scorpio's person what are their energies at this time strong bonds family union partnership strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions Four of Wands is on their side. They could have a family situation here or another partnership or maybe they are thinking about this. When, it, when, it, when they think about you, Scorpio, they think about a union, a partnership. Bottom of the deck, I have the Unexpected Event card, which is my card for the Tower. Um, rele revelation, upheaval, endings, unexpected, shocking events of shaking things up. Yeah, I feel like that's what happened here. Some sort of events have taken place to cause a separation or bring about some sort of ending. Now, you have the death card reversed. So this is a delayed ending or resistance to change, resistance to an ending. Let's see, why is death reverse? Two of Wands. Okay, so you have here a choice to make, a path to choose. I feel like you're waiting here. The Two of Wands could also be a card about waiting um, and then trying to like decide which path to choose. Tell me more about death reverse. Yeah, Page of Wands. So I feel like you're thinking about a beginning here, but there's um, some sort of resistance or delay for you. Uh, and it's because you have a choice to make here. So un until this choice is made, I don't feel like you're going to be taking any steps towards making this change. I'm also picking up some of you could be waiting for communication before you make this decision. Yeah, they don't have the hangman at the bottom of the deck, so definitely waiting here. And then the Queen of Wands reverse, this could be a card about not taking action or just being very upset. Let's see. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? Queen of Wands reverse. Ten of Pentacles, another ten. The third ten that comes out on this during this reading. Tell me about the king of not the king of Queen of Wands reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? Seven of Wands reverse. So I feel like um hmm, I have the six of cups at the bottom of, no this is the nine of cups sorry. Nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. Interesting Eight of Swords reverse. Seven of Wands reverse is a card about giving up the fight, not having courage to fight back, fighting for the wrong thing, kind of being stubborn, being exhausted from defending yourself and then I have the Ten of Pentacles, which is a card about stability, security, family, traditions. I think you're very, almost like, I'm picking up this energy of, I just want to be happy. Or, why are things so difficult? Why am I always fighting? Why am I always having to stand up for myself? I'm tired. Like, I'm getting that energy. But I feel like deep down, you don't want to give up. It's like you go back and forth here. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands reverse. Me more please about the seven of wands reverse nine of pentacles yeah you want to be free happy successful stable 
you want, you're doing well for yourself, I feel, Scorpio. Um, but something's just not quite right for you. Now I have the devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. So I feel like you, you might feel bound um, and you want to be free. Um, free to start anew. Very interesting. Free to have this cycle. I feel like you're both marrying each other. Let's see. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Tower. So yeah, definitely your person had a very difficult ending. Or this is happening. A Tower moment for sure. That brought about an ending. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. Oh, I got. I wanted one, but they gave me two. Ace of Wands, yeah. Once again, the Ace of Wands and then the King of Pentacles. So this is definitely um, a tower moment that was necessary, I feel. Could have been a tower moment. And, um, and I think this is your person that might have initiated this. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody that walked away from home, family. They've, they've walked away from something here. Possibly a marriage. You know, one more for the Four of Wands. Judgment. Yeah. This person made a judgment call here to move on. I have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck as well. So I feel like you're both either you're both in the same situation or you're thinking of each other. So, for example, if you're the one that's breaking free of something, Scorpio, and you're just waiting for the green light to make, you know, your decision, then this person, this tower moment ending all of that, this is them thinking about you. Or it could be vice versa you're thinking about them breaking free of something. Do you know what I mean? Um, because this judgment card, this is an awakening, a sudden realization, which you have on this side, you know? So I feel like you're, you're either thinking of each other or you're both in the same boat. Take it as it resonates. But this person that you're dealing with, definitely one of you is walking away at the very least. And it has had a tower moment in your life. So let's jump into the near future energy here. Which, I'll be honest, um, the Chariot Reverse Cancer Energy. This is a card about no movement, being stuck, or changing direction altogether. Having to change direction because the direction you're in is leading nowhere so let's see why is the chariot reverse is the chariot reverse six of swords reverse okay so all right this is another card that kind of means the same thing tell me about the chariot reverse maybe that's why there's the three of wands patiently waiting maybe this is taking a little bit longer to get moving here five of cups reverse I'm going to get one more for the Chariot Reverse. Page of Pentacles Reverse. This could be financial. Um, a delay that's based off of finances. Um, it could be a delay based off of a past situation that's still affecting someone's future move. Now, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, whenever they're reversed, for me as a reader, they always end up getting to their destination eventually, despite obstacles and challenges and delays. It's not like the Page of Wands reversed or the Knight of Wands reversed to me. So, Page of Pentacles reversed, it could be a card about, like I said, financial difficulty, or them um, ha uh, being slowed down, um, delayed. 
Same with the Six of Swords reverse. They, this is a card about being prevented from leaving, um, delayed from leaving a situation, or um, returning to something. So let me get one more. Let me get one more for these two cards. Can I get one more clarifier for the Six of Swords reverse? And the Page of Pentacles reverse, please. Spirit for Scorpio. Tell me more about these energies, please. Five of Pentacles. Okay, so there could definitely be something financial here that's keeping someone from moving quickly. And then I have the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So timing, bad luck, uh, something is very difficult right now. Someone's definitely uh, slowed down by something here. And again, this could be you or your person. So that's what I got for you, Scorpio. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my readings and you want to see more. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.